My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to set, how to set a background in InDesign. So suppose you want a background image for your project. So what you're going to do is first you're going to go to File, and you're going to go down to Place. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring up your options for images. So I'm going to put in this background that I have assembled. And it's not going to probably, it's, depending on how, what your image is, it may, not, or it may not fit. So I'm going to just readjust this. And you don't have to have your image fit, but it's probably preferred. So you can all, always go to fitting, and you can go to fit content proportionally. And it'll basically readjust this. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to double this image just by holding down Option. And then you can place it on top like that if you want, or you can like you know, do whatever you want. So I'm just going to make it simple. And then I'm going to adjust this. OK. So now I've got my background. But the problem with any of these programs is that you can't really add layers effectively unless your layers are locked. So what I'm going to do is, since this is on layer one, I'm going to lock this layer. And that is going to set my background. So that way, it's not touchable. It's there forever until you unlock it. And then you can start adding text and type and whatever you want. You know, like. And then it, that way, when you go to select your windows that are on top of this image, your image won't move. It'll make it so that you can always move this image and select everything and move it and not have that get in the way. My name is Alex, and this is how you set a background in InDesign. Thank you.